In this video, we are going to talk about the mapping notation. As we mentioned in the class, the mapping notation is very useful if you want to know how an original point x and y is going to be transformed if it follows a given transformation. Just to remind you, in general, the equation for transformation is f of x is equal to a f of b times x minus h plus k where a is the vertical and uh, is the vertical stretch or compression along the y-axis B is the, vertic uh, is the horizontal stretch or compression along the x-axis. H is the translation moving up or right, uh, moving right or left on the x-axis. And K is moving up or down along the y-axis. When you know these values, A, B, H, and K, we can use the mapping notation, as we said in the class, which said that any original point x, y on the function after the transformation is going to have the following values. x is going to become 1 over b, remember the inverse of this coefficient, x plus h, and y is going to have a, y plus k. So, if you have, let's say, 0, 0 on the original graph, then if I know what is B, what is H, what is A, and what is K, I can find the transformed point on the new graph. So, now let's do a couple of examples here. In the first example, we have the function H of X is negative 3 times X plus 5 squared minus 4. You're supposed to write the base function and the mapping rule or mapping notation. As you can see the base function is easily we can see it's a quadratic so we say the base function let's call it uh, f of x is x squared. The mapping we have to know what are the parameters a, b, h and k. By looking at the graph um, of the equation, I can easily say that a is negative 3, b is equal to 1, because the coefficient of x is 1, h is negative 5, because the formula is x minus h, and here we have plus 5, so h is negative 5, and k is negative 4. So I can write the mapping rule is x, y is going to be 1 over b. So 1 over 1 is 1 times x, which is x, plus h, which is negative 5, a, y, which is negative 3y, plus k, which is negative 4. So this is my mapping rule. The second part of the question says, complete the table of values for x equal to negative 7 to negative 3 in step of 1 for g of x and h of x. So, let's write the table of values from negative 7 to negative 3, so negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, and negative 3. First, we have to find the table of values for the base function. Oh, the base function here is called g, so let's change this one to g. g of x is equal to x squared. So, let's evaluate the function for different x's. If x is negative 7, x squared is 49. Negative 6 squared is 36, negative 5 squared is 25, negative 4 squared is 16, negative 3 squared is 9. So these are the x and y coordinate in the base function. 
now let's write the table of values for the transform function for the x value instead of writing x on the top I'm going to write the transformed function for it which is x minus 5 which is coming from here for y is negative 3 y minus 4 it's easier when, when I see the function on top to have evaluate the new values now let's go through the values in the base function the first value is negative 7 for x so if I put negative 7 here negative 7 minus 5 is going to give me negative 12 the next value is negative 6 so negative 6 minus 5 is negative 12 negative 11 the next one is negative 5 so negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10 and the next one is negative 9 and the next is negative 8 now we take these values again and put it back in this one to get the values for y so I'm going to say if y is 49 so I'm going to get 3 negative 3 times 49 minus 4 if you simplify this one you're gonna get negative 151 the next one is negative 3 the next y value is 36 negative 4 if you simplify this one you get negative 112 the next one you get negative 79 next one negative 52 and negative 31 so this tells you for instance the point negative 3 and 9 on the base function is transformed to the point negative 8 and negative 31 on the transformed graph in the next example we have the function h of x which is equal to 4 absolute value of negative 0.5 open bracket x minus 1 close bracket absolute value plus 2 we are supposed to write the base function g of x and the mapping rule we know we are dealing with uh, the absolute value function so we can say g of x the base function is just absolute value of x and the mapping rule if you look at the h of x you can easily see that a is 4 b is negative 0.5 h is 1 because in the formula remember it's minus h so h is 1 and k is 2 so I can write that the mapping rule is x y goes to 1 over b which is 1 over negative 0.5 x plus h a y which is 4 y plus k if I simplify this one, 1 over negative 0.5 gives me negative 2x plus 1 and 4y plus 2. So this is my mapping rule. Now the next part of the question says, complete a table of values for x equal to negative 2 to 2 in step of 1 for g of x and h of x. For g of x, the base function, I'm just going to write the table of value between negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2 absolute value of negative 2 is 2 negative 1 is 1, 0 is 0, 1 and 2 now as usual for transformed function I'm going to in the heading I'm going to write the mapping rule so negative 2x plus 1 and 4y plus 2 now I'm going to use this mapping rule for x. If x is negative 2, I get negative 2 times 2. Negative times negative is positive. Positive 2 plus 1, which is going to give me 5. If x is negative 1, negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. If x is 0, I get 1. Negative 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. If I substitute x equal to 1 here 
negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 and if I sub 2 here negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 so these are the new x values 5 3 1 negative 1 negative 3 to find the y values I'm going to substitute these y values into this mapping rule if a y is 2 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10 if y is 1 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6 if y is 0 4 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2 if y is 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. If y is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So this means that this table of values for the base function is transformed to this table of values for the transformed function.